good. So these 115s, a little, little different. It's kind of hard to see, but the oil looks really good here. Not so bad. This is more of a, a time uh, maintenance than the hours. You know, he didn't, I don't think he came close to 100 hours on this service, but it's definitely due for times one year or 100 hours is usually when you want to get into service, just to make sure everything's in good shape. Oil siphoning. Be very careful with these with these 115s because if your hose is kinked and you push it through, that hose will not come out. Just say that from past experience. And throughout the service when I'm doing this, I'm always trying to siphon, you know, constantly. Because they'll lose their prime, but you want to make sure you get as much oil out as possible. Right now we're going to drain the oil. When you drain in the oil, you really want to have it at a good angle where the uh, the lower unit will, uh, where the drain on it is going to be at the lowest point so you get all the oil out of here. Another thing is too, when you look at these seals, the magnet was all clean. There's no metal shavings on that. And these, these O-rings for Yamaha, these drain and fill seals, you could see, I don't know if you could see, but they're kind of like indented. They're, they kind of get smashed and they actually hold the bolt in like a locking washer. And at the same time, they'll, see, they'll, they'll make sure that it's sealed. You can see like a little indentation. And then I'll show you the new ones where they're really, uh, they're really flat and uh, you can tell when they're not used. But you always have, no matter what, every time on those, on drain and fill seals, on pretty much almost every manufacturer, just replace the drain and fill seals. Even if they're good, just replace them, peace of mind. And you never know until you, um, until you crank down on it, you might split them once they've been used once. It. Oh, this one got a little, little water in here. Look at that salt. It's been a long time since this filter has been replaced, I'm assuming. Yep. Uh, so what I usually do is with these, uh, they do already have like a, a little bit of a sealant on it, but what I'm going to do is I'll just give it a little bit more protectant. I always, I, this is just me, just how I, I like to have a little extra. And, and, it, and it actually, see how this is all rusted? Um, it is a long time since it was replaced, but if, it, if it's every year, it won't even get close to this. Because I'm putting, uh, I always like to use this 24C with, tef, with Teflon. And then I'll just coat it. And this will this will hold make it let it hold up a lot better than than that without it. And I'll always always wipe out these. Uh, Want to get any salt in here? And then I'll hand tighten these, not too tight. Don't over tighten these. That's about it right there. That should be good to go. So we're at three, we're at three, three and a half quarts on this. Pour it slow. And uh, just a little bit more. Mm -hmm. 